So guys, this is Shadowmaster here bringing you the video. Today we're doing Web Deku. Had all for one's quirk. Now then, or the son of all for one. Now then, I'm gonna say this right now. This is what Green looks like in this timeline, okay? She is one year older than Deku, okay? Now, second thing, this is how the clone of all for one looks like with family. Third thing, this is how Inko looks like, okay? Now, now then, let me say one thing only in this timeline. Deku's gonna be a full villain, so there will not be Deku turning back to a hero stuff. You will be seeing other iconic characters in this. By the way, you guys comment down below, should I bring Deadpool Deku into this universe for like one or two times stuff? So yeah, now, I want to say one thing only, you gonna do only, I broke your game. I have two of the exact same cards. I broke the fucking game. I broke the fucking game. Now, let's get this started. Now, we set timer, and let's go. Now then, we're starting off as green. Now, she is, shit, I have to hit you for the picture. Now, green is one year older than Deku. Deku is 4, and she is 5. Now, her quirk allows her to take it to quirks. Now then. Now. Mostly, all for one knows this. So, well, he gave her a quirk exactly. This quirk dampens or how to control her quirk exactly. He can cancel out the quirk immediately or mostly lower it down enough. Now. Now then. Let's fix the... Now, Inko, well, has electricity, electricity, electric, ele a lightning quirk, exactly. Her abilities, or quirk, exactly, allows her to, well, create mostly feedback types of energy. Mostly like this. She has her own tail and these two outlet things where she sh shoot electricity through them. Now, she doesn't technically have to eat food at all. She can technically just drain electricity for food. So yeah. Now then, is it a mutation quirk? Mostly, they couldn't tell if it's a mutation or a emitter, so they classify it as a emitter slash mutation quirk. Because, well, the tail can't go away, and, well, the two things over there can go away. Now. Now then. Let's do a time skip. Around when Deku is 5 and Green is 6. Now. Now then. All for one wanted to introduce Green and Deku to the villain league exactly. He really didn't know how to do it exactly, because he did not want Inko to get hurt. Now, he thought of a great plan exactly. Mostly kidnapping those two, and well, kidnapping them, and well, a few years later, he'll introduce them back, and well, all will be good. Sounds like a shape plan, but remember, it's all for one. He's trying. Now then, he does the plan exactly. He creates a clone of himself. Looks like, well, this one. Now, at night, he stole Deku and Green. Now, the next day, they wake up off one in, well, Inko, and they go into, well, their two child's bed, exactly. Try to wake them up, but they're not in there. Inko immediately calls the police, though, and tells their child they're missing stuff. Now then, off one's going to the back of his head and says, good, the plane's coming all together. You're going to be calling off one a dick for this, but he isn't. Because he knew that people, if they figure out that Green was, well, off one's child, they would take her away and try to use her. He knew that they would try to, well, experiment on her or try and do anything else though and stuff, and he did not want this exactly. Now, in this timeline, All Might will die. Now, just had to tell you that. I'm not telling you when or when or where he will die. Now. Now then. Now, Deku wakes up, mostly, with Green, exactly. Mostly, they are in the League of Villains base. Now, all for one is there, exactly. Mostly a clone. This clone does not share memories with all for one. They technically have to share memories by, well, giving each other the memories, exactly. Or they can just copy the memories into him. Now then. Now. He told Shigaraki and Kirigiri to step out of the room, exactly. They do. Now, he wakes up both of them, 
Emily Green wakes up and she wakes up Deku and tells him that we've been mostly kidnapped stuff. Now then, all of one says, okay, listen, you won't believe me, but I am your dad exactly. She says you're lying exactly. My dad's not a villain. He says, yes, I am, Green. Let me explain. He says your quirk, well, allows you to take and steal quirks. But, well, you don't actually know that, because I gave you a quirk when you were born. Mostly, it allows me to control how powerful your quirk is and how I can dampen it exactly. Because I actually cared about you. But I did not want any of the, most of the heroes to try to use you to kill me exactly. And, well, you know, Deku exactly has... He's mostly known by the nickname he actually gave him. Deku mostly has the ability to, well, take... Not take and steal quirks, but he can not take and steal quirks exactly. But, well, due to that uh, Inko's quirk exactly, it's not working that good exactly. Now then, Deku sees the outlet cord and he just slowly walks to it. Off one, well, doesn't look at Deku exactly. Now then, Deku's tail immediately goes in the outlet cord and will be charging up in attack. Now, he can only absorb too much electricity before he goes into a frenzy. Most of this frenzy allows him to absorb a lot of electricity, but losing his mind slowly, slowly. Now then, he says to both of them that, well, uh, mostly staring at green still, though, exactly, that, well, I mostly am your dad. He merely told the clone to come out of the room. Now, he says, mostly, I have cloned myself a few times, exactly. I have cloned myself, as you can see, one with your mother, right here. Another one. I clone myself three times. Now, cloning yourself three times does hurt the shit out of you. Now then, he says I can help you control both of your powers exactly. Immediately, the clone of Orphan One tells him that well, your son's charging him attack exactly. He sees that. Immediately, Deku fires his electricity assault. Now, Emily Orphan One puts out his hand and well, he immediately captured all the electricity into a ball exactly. Deku says, how the heck you did that exactly? Saying that I have, well, the exact same quirk as your sister exactly, Midoriya. Now then. I mostly, well, your mother is still okay exactly. I do care about them. I do care about her. Now. I have to teach you both how to use your quirks exactly. How to use them properly. Or, well, you might accidentally hurt somebody. Or kill somebody exactly. Because, well, I knew one day that if I didn't put that quirk into green exactly, she might accidentally kill her mother. I have a quirk that allows me to see somebody's future exactly for only a few years. And there's this one, well, possibility where you used your quirk on your mother by accident when you got mad and you killed her. Now, when you use the quirk exactly, mostly I couldn't save her. But now I've actually changed fate though, so she's still alive. I did not want that happen to your mother. Now, do you trust me exactly? Now then, Deku gets his tail out of the outlet and he says, fine. Green says, okay then. Now, she says, and it all for once says good. Now, he tells Kirigiri and Shigaraka that they can come back in the room exactly. Now then, he tells them both that, well, I did get some of your things exactly. Most of your note bag, most of your book bag, Deku, and yours. Saying that you can't go to school exactly because, well, mostly, well, let me explain. He tells Shigaraki to come over here. He does. He's telling that, well, my friend Shigaraki over here mostly has a quirk that's called, mostly allows him to sing great things. The Hero Society thinks that as a villainous type quirk. So, yeah. Now, mostly our job is, well, trying to change everything exactly. We're not actually like villains exactly. Now, if I actually use, well, if the role is reversed exactly, and, well, everything switch around, well, mostly Shigaraki would be a hero, as me too. I bet we would even be the number one hero in one time, exactly. But yeah, most of the hero society is messed up. Mostly like Bakugo called the green quirk, exactly. You're not, mostly you have my quirk. But I had to dampen it out, though, exactly. Because I knew that, well, you would get more, mostly, humiliated. And trust me, I know how Echi feels. Now, he says that this is actually not how I look exactly, because I am a clone. The real awful one, or Tatoshi exactly, 
is what is in our room exactly. Now, I can't really get off that chair exactly, so I create clones of myself to date your mother's stuff. So yeah. Now, he tells Deku that that was a powerful electricity attack, but well, it wasn't well powerful enough. Because what one, one of my quirks exactly allows me to condense energy into a ball exactly. Now then, he says, now I have to get rid of this thing. Crap. Now then, all for one says that, well, I was going to, well, take your mother's quirk, but I did not. Now then, a few more years later, we can, well, reunite with her exactly. But my clone is, well, still talk to her. Because I do not want to leave her alone and sad. Because I'm not like a monster, exactly. Now, Green is going over in her head and saying that, well, it's not like a villainous thing to do all this crap, though, exactly. Now, she says, fine, so you're going to train exactly, and all for one says, yes, I am. Now, he tells them that, well, mostly, shit, mostly, uh, I'm just going to train you stuff. And over time, I will give you more and more quirks, exactly. I think I'm going to give you around six quirks, though, exactly. Now. He says, I'm not going to give you quirks now, because it might screw up your head. Because he's saying to them that, well, a person can only handle a few quirks, exactly. My body can handle a lot, and my mind. If I gave up well, Deku over there, uh, mostly a lot of quirks, exactly, he would be a mindless creature to destroy stuff. Now, you'll mostly be like a rhino, or mostly a bull, that has everything with red exactly. Mostly a rhino, I meant a bull attacks anything with red on it, for some reason. Really do not know why. But yeah, he mostly tried to kill everybody, though. You're going to be asking yourself, Green, why the heck aren't you doing this exactly? This quirk does not do that exactly. It's not a enhancement quirk of anything. It only dams out your quirk exactly. It's like... It's like a remote controller to a TV. I can control how powerful your quirk is and how weaker it is. Now. She says, oh yeah, I actually did want to ask that. He says, huh. Now. He tells them both that, well, Shigaraki and Kiryu will be looking after you for a while. Because this clone's body, well, technically this body exactly, is, well, weak. Because when I go to sleep exactly, it's a little weird. Because, well... Your mother is crying a lot, though. Now. Now then. He says that I have to go now. Now then. He says that I did make some sandwiches for you in your bag, exactly. Now. He tells Shigaraki and Kiryu to watch his kids, exactly. And he tells them both that if they get hurt at any or way, or if anyone does hurt them, like you, Shigaraki or Kiryu, you both will be turned to no moose. Now then. They understand, because, well, Shigaraki knows to not screw around with all for one. And, well, he knows Kiryu would never hurt his kids, because he knows that I'll just take a quirk and just kill you. Now. Now then. Deku walks over to Kiryu with his notebook and asks him how does his quirk exactly work. He tells him this is how it works exactly. He opens a warp gate and tells him to go through it. He does and, well... There's another warp gate on the other side of the League of Villains base, and well, he sees that he sees that his arm's through there. Now, he says, "Huh? So it's like a portal quirk, exactly?" He says, "No, it's actually called a warp gate." Now, Deku gets an empty journal, and well, is trying to draw Kirigiri how he looks exactly. Now then, Green is well not the smartest of the bunch, but she's still thinking exactly. She's thinking that, well, so my dad's been, what well, lying to me for all this time, exactly. She really does not know how to mostly do this, exactly. She thinks that to be mad at him, or sad, or something else. Now. Now then. Now. The clone of, well, off one, exactly, went back to the true off one, or the real one. Now. He asks the clone how did it go, exactly. He says it went okay-ish, your daughter, well... Technically, our daughter, or how we're supposed to do it. He says that it really doesn't matter. He says, well, she's, well, thinking of being mad at us or sad for us or something. He says, huh. 
She was always the well, person that always cared about everybody, even villains. Now, he tells the clone that, well, I think, well, I think, what time is it exactly? He says it's well around the time that they should be going to sleep exactly. He says, huh. I mean, it is the morning, but still. They should be still tired because I did wake them up too early. Now, due to all that electricity through Decker's body, he is still awake. He asks the clone, well, what the heck happened exactly? Well, your mostly our son tried to attack me with electricity attack. I mostly stuck to my hand and, well, has a ball of electricity. He's showing him exactly. He says, huh. Now, he says that, well, just give it to me. He does, and all of one just absorbs all the electricity in the system. Now then, he tells that clone that, remember, you know what would happen if you will hurt my, so, our, my son and my daughter exactly. He says, I already know. Mostly I already told Kiri and Shigaraki that. He says, huh. Now, Mostly, Shigaraki sees how Deku's drawing character exactly. Now, Shigaraki asks his Deku, does he want to know about my quirk? He says, yeah. Now, mostly, Shigaraki says that, well, this is how it works exactly. He asks him for, well, a spare pencil. He does, and, well, he holds it with five fingers and it immediately disintegrates into dust. It's on the floor. Kirigiri says that you know you're gonna have to pick that up, right? And he says, I know, Kirigiri. Now. Now then. Now. Deku says, huh. So, it's mostly like a destruction quirk, exactly? He says, it's, well, yes and no. Mostly it's called, it's actually called decay, exactly. It speeds up the, mostly if I had to say, speeding up the process of decay. Now. He just gets a broom and a sweeper and stuff, and he just cleans up his mess exactly. Now then, Kirigiri says good. Now then, just throw it in the trash exactly. He says, I know, Kirigiri, I'm putting it up. Now then, he does draw Shigaraki exactly. Now, he tells Shigaraki, I mean, Shigaraki tells Deku that, well, you might want to add cape there. And he says, oh yeah. Now, Mostly, Shigaraki is looking at Green exactly. She is, well, tired exactly. Now. Now then. Off one did not dim her power anymore. She can't use it, though. Now then. The clone of Off one walks in there exactly. Now then. He says that, well... He tells Green to come, mostly come to him exactly. She does. Now then. He says, I'll be taking you somewhere so I can train you how to use your quirk exactly. Now then, he asks his character to open warp gate to, well, a training ground exactly he created. Now, he does. Now, off one in green are, well, off one showing green how to use her quirk exactly. Mostly telling him this how it works. Now, he says that, well, you just have to touch somebody or, well, use exactly needles to use it. Now then, he tells her to only take one quirk from him. Now, she does. She almost accidentally took two. But, well, she has a quirk that allows her to mind control somebody. Now, it's a weak variation of this quirk. Now, he says, good. Mostly I can force the quirk out of my body to help give it to you. Now, he says, look over there exactly. He is showing well. Mostly, he has some goons over there. Mostly, Green says I really don't want to hurt them exactly. And she's mostly off one says you don't have to. Mostly, they work for me and they know that I sometimes use their quirk. Mostly, they have quirks though. He points in one of the goons that has an armor quirk exactly. Loves him to increase his armor density. Like Hiroshima's to hardening, but it's way stronger. Now, the other person has a fire quirk exactly. Mostly allows them to breathe fire out and form into different types of animals to attack somebody with them. Now, he tells Green to try to mind control one of them. Now then, he tells her to keep her mind steady and well calm, because the quirk only works like that. You got to think really hard. Now then, she does control the fire guy exactly. Now then, 
All for one said that you will have to mostly the fire guy will try to fight away from the quark to use it. Because it is a weak variation of the quark. Over time it will upgrade and stuff. Now she only controls his mind for a few more minutes until the guy fights it off. Now then. All for one says good. You did well last for five minutes exactly. That was good. Now then. Now, he asks the fire guy, is he okay? He says, yeah, I'm okay, exactly. Your daughter does have, well, mostly, he had to say, is that your daughter, exactly? He says, yes. He says, huh. Now, he is his off one, so she has the exact same quirk as you, and saying, yes, she does. Wait, don't you have a son, exactly? He says, yes, mostly. I forgot to tell you guys about my daughter. Say that, huh. Now, the goon says that, well, she takes off for her mother, exactly. And, well, Alvorn says, yeah. Now then, she tries to use the cork again and again. Until Alvorn says, okay, I think that's enough, exactly. Because, well, she is getting tired of using this cork, though. She lasts around seven minutes, though. That's really good. Now, Alvorn says that, well, I think that's enough training for today, exactly. Now, she says, okay, Dad. Now, she calls Kyrgyz to open a warp gate. He does end well. He tells Deku to come in exactly. Now. Mostly they go to the exact same place Green was at. Now. Off one gives Deku a cork exactly. Mostly. It is well. Most of the cork that allows him to dampen and increase the power of the cork exactly. Now. He does increase the power of his own cork and his son exactly. To the extent that he can't steal a lot of corks at once, but he can only steal a few. Around three. Now, he tells Deku that, well, walk up to one of those goons exactly and take one of their quarks. Deku does not want to do exactly. He tells him that, well, these goons actually work for me and they know, whelp about my abilities. In fact, I actually gave, whelp the fire guy over there, his quark exactly. Because he helped me out in a sticky, a sticky situation exactly. So yeah. You know that gift I gave your mother uh, mostly a year ago? He's saying, yeah. He mostly helped me out with that because I really don't know that much about jewelry and stuff. I know it's really, like, expensive, but still, don't know that much. Now then, Deku walks up to the fire guy and he takes his cork exactly. This did not hurt him. Now then, Deku tries to use his fire cork with his electricity. Those two, whelp feed off each other and immediately create a little... Was he feed back to Deku and he fell on the ground. Now then, Off One walks over to Deku and asks him, Is he okay? He says, Yeah. Off One tells him to not use the electricity cork exactly, just only use the fire cork. He does, and he creates a little fire dog. Now, it only lasts for a few seconds before it goes away. Deku tries harder and harder to keep it more of lo- mostly around. Now then, the fire guy tells Deku that, well, it's mostly not like. It doesn't stay that long there. It only lasts for a few seconds or a few minutes, though, if you have enough strength and stamina. So, yeah. Now then. Deku tries to attack, mostly use it as, mostly, forming a fire dog. But, a few more of them. Now then. Mostly, the fire dogs don't do anything until they go away. Deku is more tired, though, and all for one says, okay, I think that's enough for today. He says, fine. Now then, let's get to Inko and the other clone of Off One. Inko is still crying exactly. She's seen that her mostly two, mostly, well, son and daughter are missing stuff. So yeah. Now then. Now. The clone of Off One says it's going to be K. The police will find him stuff and maybe some, maybe we can look around stuff. So yeah. Now then. All the villain. All the villains in what well, the city exactly know that Off One has a few clones around. And he knows that if I find any of them try to hurt my siblings or my mostly my son and daughter or my wife, they're going to die. Being serious. Now Now then He tells Deku that well or he goes back now we're going back to Deku and Off One. Now he calls Gear Gear to open a warp gate. Now then, they go through and, well, Deku goes over to Green and tells him what type of quirk do you have exactly. She says, I have a mind-controlling quirk exactly. 
No. Deku says, I have a fire-type quirk, exactly. Nothing. He shows off and creates a little fire dog, exactly. Until he goes away. Nothing. She says, huh? Nothing. She says, I have a mind-controlling quirk, and she shows off. Mostly trying to control Shigaraki. Now. She does control Shigaraki for a while. Until Shigaraki breaks control of it, and he says, please don't do that again, exactly. Saying that you are strong at using your mind-controlling quirk, but, well... It's not strong enough to control me exactly. She says, huh? She's thinking of controlling Deku. Now. She does. Now then. She says, huh? So I control them exactly. He's mostly standing still exactly, and, well, he's not doing anything. Shigaraki sees that she has mind control them. Now. Off. I mean, let's see. Shigaraki says, so you mind control them exactly, and she says, yeah. Now, she sees that, well, Deku always keeps his tail wrapped around his waist exactly, like a Saiyan. Now then, she knows about one thing about Inko's and Deku's quirk exactly. The weakness is the tail exactly, like a Saiyan. You step on the tail, well, they're technically useless actually, because they can't use their quirk at all. In fact, if you have any, any other extra quirks in your body, with the electricity quirk, then you are fully unmobilized. You can't move at all. Now then, I think I said that wrong, but I can't remember how to say it. <sighs> Shit. Now. Now. Let's continue on. Deku is mostly still controlling this stuff. Deku is trying to break control of the mind control, but he cannot. Now then. She tells Deku to unwrap his tail from his waist. He does. Now then. She checks me how this mic trolling quirk what's limitedly. She steps on Deku's tail and the mic trolling stops. Now, he can only say a few words before, well, his body cannot move. She gets off Deku's tail and, well, this did stop him from breathing. Now, he says, wait, so you use your quirk on me? And she says, yes, exactly. He says, huh. Now. Off one did see that the mind controlling quirk does have a weakness. If the opponent feels pain at all, that means they'll get the mind control. Now then, over time, the mind controlling quirk will adapt to, well, not have that weakness. Now, most of these people are going to be asking, okay, so Green is, well, 16 when it's she's older, and Dex is going to be 15. Yes. Now then, let's check to see. <sighs> now, let's just see. Everyone asks here, Gary, to, well, get him a beer exactly. He does. He drinks exactly. Mostly, Everyone has a quirk that will cancel off any drugs in his system exactly. Now. Now then. Mostly, Green walks over to her dad and asks him what else can the quirk exactly do. He says that, well, what my quirk exactly, well, it can actually, well, combine two quirks to create something new, exactly. Let's take a fear quirk and a gas quirk, exactly. Mostly the fear with the gas exactly creates something like a gas cloud of fear. Mostly anyone who breathes it in or, well, smells it in our way, they will get fear. Or, well, what bone quirk plus a tail. Mostly the tail can now, well, mostly you can make a bone tail, exactly. Now, if you have a flesh quirk, well, bone quirk, exactly, well, you can technically make an extra arm for yourself, exactly. Now then, he says this, he says I actually ha do have a quirk like that. Now, he rips off his fingers, but not showing his dart, exactly. He says, see, now, and his dart sees that, well, immediately a bone comes out of the dip, I meant, off one's finger, exactly. Now, she sees that and asks her dad, is he okay? He says, yeah, I have done this multiple times, exactly. In fact, this is like my... He has a character, how many times did his arm get ripped off by our villain, exactly? He says that, well, if I have lost count, but I think it's around 300 to 3... 340 to 350. Well, I really can't remember. He says, huh. Now. He merely shows, her, shows off the quirk, exactly. Mostly, mostly the bone reforms in flesh and all the crap reforms on his finger. He says it does hurt exactly, but not that much anymore. Because, well, 
I got used to the pain exactly. Now, nothing. He says that well, if you had multiple quarks together, you can create something new. Now, she's thinking about this exactly. Thinking, oh, well, technically taking Deku's quark. Or while well, trying to combine two quarks together. With the mind controlling quark with the electricity quark, he, she can create an electricity mind controlling ability. Where if she shoots electricity at somebody, she can mind control the target. Now, this, all from when Red or Minus says that please don't steal your, mostly your brother's quark exactly. She says I wasn't going to do that, and Alphamon says I know you're lying exactly. I can read your mind. Since I have more, I have like a lot of quarks. If I had to say around 200 to 300. More, in fact. Now, he says that, well, I already know what the mind controlling quark with the electricity quark would do. Mostly creating a quark that allows you to, well, shoot lightning at your opponent to control them exactly. Now, he says that, well, aren't you hungry exactly? And she says, yeah. She goes for her boat bag and, well, gets the sandwich. Deku does too. You're going to be asking how many sandwiches do they have left. They have five in total. Now then. Now, I think we're going to end off here. Because I had to record part three of what if Deku was the Supreme King, I think. Or some art crap. Now, I was going to do what if Deku was a feedback or a conductoid. I think that's too stupid or something. Or if people do want it, that will be it. Now, you guys can comment down below what Deku's costume should be. A is this, or B, it's well. Looks like all for ones exactly. Green. So yeah. I'm really going for this one, but I think people might like the, well, generic one and stuff. What the fuck? I do not condone simping for your child. That's sus. Bad all for one. Bad. You look like. Bad. Y you're a terrible father, by the way. <laughs> Disgusting. Pedophilia. Great. I'm gonna try one thing only, guys, before we end this off. Wait, shit. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. Holy shit, that looks so wrong. That looks so wrong. I'm gonna try one more thing. That looks too stupid. I don't like it. That shit's too bright. Now then, goodbye, guys.